Or, but that's why you get prostitutes because then they're not going to tell nobody, right? Yeah, I would. In theory. Yeah, and then if you tell if you actually tell nobody, but I feel like you always tell someone. Like people what, usually tell someone. What would you say to like? Do you think that young men should go to prostitutes? <sighs> um. <laughs> if gosh. they just want to get it out of their system. Um. Oh gosh, this is a good question. I have mixed feelings because I don't. I don't really like the idea of that, but I also feel like it's kind of the, the way the world's always been. Mm. So it's like, that's the world's oldest profession. Like someone's kind of got to do it. Right. You know, could, it couldn't be me, but I wouldn't want someone I love to do it. But, um, I, and it's like, what other solution do you have for the one out of three men under 30 that are virgins or haven't had sex in the past year? I just sometimes feel like if you're a young dude and you had the opportunity to do it, which I don't think I did when I was a kid, I would have had no idea where the fuck to find a prostitute in New Hampshire when I was growing up. But <laughs> I'm just saying like, if, if the idea of sex is so nerve wracking and oppressive to you in your head, you could just, you know, pay somebody for their time. And actually, this is what like the sex worker community would tell you is like, yeah. you know, you should like that's what they're kind of there for is like for you to be able to pay somebody for their time to have this experience so that you can kind of demystify it. I don't think it's the worst idea, but I also feel like a guy making that a part of their life on any sort of regular basis is basically like suicide for your chance of being successful at any point in your life. Yeah, I agree with what you just said. I yeah. agree. It's just like humiliating it's like it might be cool for like a one-off but you definitely shouldn't make this part of your life yeah yeah i mean i would always say maybe go the other routes first but i just have a hard time i just have a hard time encouraging prostitution i don't know i have a friend who's like 21 and just lost his virginity so it's like a little late but he's like a mega nerd and he's like he's, he makes good money and he's like doing really well for himself but he's a fucking nerd so it like took him a little later into life or whatever and we had had that conversation where i was like you know, like before he lost his virginity where i was like you know maybe you should just get a hooker like maybe that would be good for you to just like kind of get it <laughs> over with like that and then he told me the story that i thought was really fascinating right so He's hanging out with this girl and they blatantly kind of have a vibe where she she likes him, he likes her, whatever, and they're they're sleeping in like a hotel room together, right? For, but like it's because they're both at this event. And it's not like, oh, we're gonna sleep in the same bed. And before they went to bed, she said to him, she goes, Hey, I just want to let you know that um, you know, we can sleep in the bed and stuff, but I I don't want to have sex. And he's just like, Oh, that's cool. Like, that's totally cool. And so he just goes to bed in the bed, like facing away from her pulls the covers up and just goes to sleep. And then she wakes up in the next morning and she's acting kind of weird. And eventually he says like, Hey, like, did I do something? Like what's wrong? And she was like, well, I didn't want you to like not do anything to me. <laughs> and I told her, I'm like, yeah, bro. I'm like, she didn't want you to, she wanted you to try to fuck her. She just wanted to like be able to call her own shots there. And if she didn't want to fuck, she wanted to be able to say, okay, like, I don't want to do this. I was like, she definitely wanted you to like kiss her or like, try something for sure mm -hmm. and then he ended up losing virginity to her so oh i guess did they date or anything oh oh okay, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. and i told him i'm like don't get hung up on her you know like if she's dope for sure but i was like you really you'd probably be so much better off like just meeting more girls rather than like focusing in on this first experience you've had mm -hmm. i don't know would you agree with that or you think you should really chase this one no, I mean, I, the, girls are usually repulsed by guys that chase them. I think we prefer to chase. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. But it must be weird. It's it's weird for him, though, because the girl almost certainly, like, knows that he's not exactly drowning in pussy. D does she? I would assume. Oh, I, I don't know your friend. I don't know what he comes off as. He's not coming off as, like, Mr. <laughs> Big Dick Swanging Guy. Would you go on a date with Nick Fuentes? Nick, is that the? Uh, that's the guy that was with Kanye, right? Yeah. Um, you know much about him? I don't know a ton about him. Okay. Yeah, he's cute. I feel like you guys would get along. Maybe. Similar ideas, nah. But he, somebody asked, somebody wanted me to ask that. We're trying <laughs> to find like the right woman for him. <laughs> but he needs like a, a white Christian woman. He's made that clear. Oh uh, yeah, I'm probably not Christian enough. No. No, I'm like. What about for like the right guy? I'll be back in church. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, realistically, I don't know how much Nick is in church you know, at this time. I'll be like, I'll be like I, I didn't even know feminism infiltrated the church. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we just hit 400,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. So if you want to help us out, click subscribe. Get us to 500K. Yeah.